What an absolute mad lad. I think we blow back one of these. I don't need two of them. What is going on guys? You already know what time it is based on the title. It is time for some viewer decks. I have two viewer decks. Uh, one was actually given to me. One was just said, you should try this. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're gonna try that out. I have some other random stuff. You Don't don't look at all, half this stuff. You guys don't even wanna know what I was just messing around with thinking about. But let's go up to the first deck, which funny enough is actually similar to a deck that I've already played before. But as the guy put, I, I know I'm, I already put the uh, description, but I have to, I in editing, I have to go find it and everything like that. So right now I'm just gonna do it off the whim. But pretty much it's a Twisted Fate Zillion deck, similar to something that I made before. Uh, he just had a more emphasis on like really having the Xenotype Researcher kind of like give plus three plus three to hopefully Twisted Fate. Uh, he's not running too many actual units in the deck, so he's pretty much hoping that that's how pretty much is going to work, right? He doesn't even have the one drop, the infamous one drop that everyone loves, but I, I feel like that's better with the Bandle City version anyway. But he's really trying to have it that you really make sure you get this. If you can mulligan and get this, have Twisted Fate, then come later and get the buff, or Zillion get the buff, then he's hoping that that kind of happens. He actually even threw in a Mirai Great Mother for the for the giggles of it. That's actually nuts. I think that's really funny. One Night of, Neg Night of her Nation? Right of Negation. Uh, and he even has a Monster Harpoon in here. So we're going to be trying this deck out first. And by the way, before we get into it, make sure... I want to actually make sure that the, uh, the, the suggestions are on these videos that say viewer deck, so it'll be easier to find. One was on on here which is this one and then the other one I, I had to find from a different video um so yeah let's do it okay i was testing out if you guys saw in the beginning of the video right i was testing out a lot of these aggro decks right uh i was testing out lulu i think lulu's zoe uh and it's a really cool aggro deck i might show you guys soon but i've been running into non-stop stun decks which completely shut down like a support archetype or something like that it's actually insane it's so annoying when you're trying to run a certain deck and then like for some reason it like the meta is countering it anywho so i'm supposed to throw away twisted fate here keep this uh the researchers here uh try not to do anything crazy and then play uh xenotype researches on three now luckily we are playing a slower deck but the the meta would suggest that playing you know, losing Twisted Fate would be like a, a almost a death sentence, right? Because pretty much I would be letting the aggro go and I wouldn't even have the red card to uh, to actually play it off, right? This is probably like the third or fourth uh, deck. And I was playing, as you guys know, I play uh, my, I experiment first in normals, then I bring my decks to rank. So I don't know, is there is there a video uh, that's out that I need to know about that people are, I don't have much protection here. I already got the one mana. Oh, nice. We got our one of right, uh, right of negation. Is there is there a deck out? I was actually thinking about making a Leona deck. It was supposed to be Leona and someone else. I, I forgot who I was going to pair her with. Uh, but it was going to be something funny and cool. But it is what it is. So, look. We get the Zeno type researchers. So, at this point, especially because our one of a Mirai uh, Great Mother. So, it theoretically has a very high chance of hitting Twisted Fate. He's going to go for the open attack here. You Sly dog, you. We're gonna pop this down. I'll make a note. And then we're we're going for the super duper curve. I, I don't know. Do I just get like when I go into rank with a viewer deck? Do I just get the nuts? Maybe that I just get the nuts. Uh, I might I might just get the nuts every time I do it. Uh, all right. So he's playing Solari Priestess. Most likely he's gonna turn four, go straight into Leona, because every time I play they always have Leona on four because of course they do. I could also kill this off, but it has such a good stat line, I, I think it'd be kind of wasteful to do that. We're going to get a couple draws here. Another Rite of Calling. And a Pharaoh Presence. Okay, I'm going to do this. I, I want to save all my... So now we just put some more gunk in our deck. Hopefully we got some good gunk. It does, is it from our regions? No, they're like truly random. Okay. Well, they're both 3-3s. Three We're definitely going to attack here with this. Uh, he could trade into one. Technically, he shouldn't. Uh, but he has a lot of blockers, so why not? And then this puts me down at one. It could be. It could make a difference for him. Uh, I could also scrying sands. Ah, uh, but technically, technically, this would be really good to save once he has a uh, leveled up Yasuo, right? Um, but keeping my thing healthy is also pretty important. I think we have three of those. So damn. 
Damn, I get shafted. So, Twisted Fate wasn't hit. So that means Zillion possibly could have got hit. I forgot the, the actual hit champion. I think it's Zillion, Twisted Fate. I feel like he has maybe another one drop, but this is when this card first came out. I know you guys probably remember this too, right? That when this card first came out, uh, everyone was trying to make these decks that were gonna have literally only three allies. The thing is that she can actually hit herself, right? So she can uh, bump herself. So you would wanna maybe have like her and then like literally no other units and you were hoping to get Renekton. Oh boy. Oh my God, they're like talking over each other. <laughs> She just can't stop. All right, I could negate this, but I feel like that's such a waste of the negate. Um, one of these gets stunned. Hey, check it out, I can do the same thing. But should I though? That is the question. Or should I blue card? Until he gets Yasuo out in the field, I actually could like ramp up my draw pretty pretty snasty and try to. Well, this does, this deck doesn't have too much draw to it, but drawing those those uh, those cards that the Mariah Great Mother put into the deck is kind of important. Um, I'm gonna go blue card. I'm always up for a round or two. Oh, which is good. We have the careful preparation as well. I kind of wanna. I'm hoping to hit. We have a lot of predict here as well. Ruin his path. That's actually pretty good. So we could do this. To hurt this a little bit, I kind of want it to be a little hurt. And then we're going to uh, Ancient Preparation. I just like that she has a little bit less health. So Zillion did get blessed. We do got to bless Zillion in the building. Uh, so next turn he's gonna play the the right on guy because I swear it's always Leona into oh, wow We're healing. It's always Leona into that other guy And then I have to sit there and try to make a, a master plan to kill the other guy with I don't know if this deck really has the capability of doing it, but Nice we're putting more gunk in the deck uh, We're hoping for yes, there we go So toss three deal seven to that kills her and the other guy so I'm definitely about that. Is no, he has Yasuo. Going down to three mana here. Um, that actually predicts. That would predict as well. I could just attack with um, Zillion. I in, I feel like he would... Can I bait him into something? Let's see if I can bait him into trading here. Why would he assume I have Ruinous Path? Oh, you whore. You just have a stun? You don't. Okay, so he doesn't mind his unit, which is weird. Is, 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 are you are you YouTube sniping me? Do you know that I'm gonna kill this and you just want to make it as awkward as possible? Like uh, make it rain would kill it. We are in Bilge War. That's a very awkward block. Um, how many? Do, he's still really far away from that. Okay, so I guess I'll have to wait to get my slay next turn. He can't attack with this anymore though. Definitely like this. The problem with this card though is that it could toss some of my other good cards. It won't toss uh, any of my other champions, but if it tosses the other things that were reduced by three that could be a problem we're hoping to win with rng which i'm not a big fan of but the mariah great mother decks were really funny though so he's going for that so yeah i'm gonna go with this immediately to, to just kill off his thing see if he has something he has that now we've baited enough we're gonna go hey if he doesn't have deny in his hand he's kind of screwed here uh, I'm gonna just destroy the mana gen. He 100% could have deny here. I think this deck would run deny. It makes sense. I actually don't. I'm, I'm weird that it has noble fire. I would assume you just have you run deny. Beautiful thing about this that it stops even this as well, which is fantastic. If he had deny, he would have snapped played it. He would have he would have snapped it. It would have been like Roy uh, Roy Mustang from Full Metal Alchemist. He would have just <laughs> he would have immediately played that. What? You. <laughs> Fucked up. Okay. Okay. He, he, uh, he made me feel funny inside. All right. So, uh, I guess I don't know how this guy plays. I guess, I guess maybe he's a content creator too. And he's like, <laughs> 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 
All right, so he just goes in for the attack. We're going to mitigate that, obviously. Um, I really need to kill some of his units, though. Uh, maybe we should throw away one of these Rite of Callings. Quicksand is a thing. Quicksand is definitely a thing. Uh, I can't use it, obviously, this turn, but it does give me high hopes. All right. I almost feel like Rider calling the zillion and hoping I can get... Now, if, if I can get some time bombs, I think I'd be in a really good spot. I might have to just instantly use this, right? Because I can't really attack with this, and he actually could trade it pretty well. We don't get the heal off of it, which sucks. I, there's also a thing maybe I should have Pharaoh Prescience first before doing that. But he knows that I'm pretty much down on my luck at this point. I need a, uh, a time bomb. If he doesn't react, I will I will Pharaoh Prescience like I should have did, like a good little boy. Yeah, and that's what I get. I'm thinking, because even TF would be a decent drop here, right? Depends on what he has. Uh, that doesn't help me at all. And that's why he blocked with Leona the other time, too. I need you. I think we just lose. Uh, I think I need... I need Zillion. Just nopify it because you're a god. Because you're an absolute mad lad. What an absolute mad lad. I think we blow back one of these. I don't need two of them. Not only, I don't know if the other judgment will be that too. Oh boy. Oh Lord. Bait him. Bait him. The reason why I'm doing this is because I, I don't want him to know I have two of them. So I want him to think that that was like the best thing I got. So technically this should have made a copy and then I should get another judgment as well, right? And this is, no, they're both three mana. That's actually an interesting combo. I get stunned, right? No! Oh no! He ruined it! Oh, he ruined it. Dude, that was gonna be so sick. That's such a good draw for him. God damn. That double judgment was about to be insane. It's about to be insane. But uh, I wanted to give it that one more shot. I wanna give it one more shot. Uh, I think we saw it. I think we're really highly relying on the, uh, I think quicksand is a good keep. Relying really too hard on RNG. Uh, and with, uh, like stuff like this, cause it is spell heavy. We definitely needed to get a, a, a monster, but, uh, the curve is, is not, it's not doing what it needs to do. Okay. We did get the, the Xenotype. Hopefully this time it lands on a twisted fate. That definitely would have been helpful. Uh, getting a time bomb. It's like, like a lot of this stuff that would have helped us one there is still like too rng heavy right like we can't really get the time bombs unless we play a bunch of zillions and there's so much time bombs it really works in our favor up oh, zillion said i i'm not even dealing with this i don't i don't want the boost i don't want the boost um i could prevent his thing but i i just want to draw a lot of draws in this deck so there is a draw i, I definitely said that there wasn't enough draw but hopefully Smoke man takes it easy on us. We get to play the Xenotype Researcher and attack. Unless he plays a blocker here. Uh, Twisted Fate, Teemo. I'm assuming it's just like a uh, like a plunder deck. I'm assuming that's what it is. It's like a plunder deck. High, high on shrooms. <laughs> high on shrooms. And he's a smoke man. Shrooms. Oh, uh, yeah. You know. It's funny. 
I think it's funny. So, if I need to, I can red card to sweep out the Teemo. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't play anything here. We get to do some fun stuff. I'm hoping. I'm praying. Nagaboros. Why are we running Nagaboros? The hell? Oh, so, he has something to trade into it. Not that bad, good of an attack, because I feel like he just boxed it 2-1 and then he pings this off. But I really don't... If he's going to use a ping, I'd rather him use it on this thing than anything else. I could even kill it right now to make sure that I, uh, I get benefits off of it and he doesn't. Uh, that is an option that I have right now. But let's prage to the thing. We get... Our, I, wait, Hourglass was in here? That would have been, damn, I really, that would have been really good to have with all the stunning and nonsense that the guy was doing before. And then Hourglassing this also does it again, which is pretty cool. Uh, if he develops here, then we red card uh, just to make him feel really bad inside. Uh, if he just attacks, and I might still red card, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's no reason not to just do the red card. I have a lot of cards in hand. I don't, a lot of draw, actually. We could actually see a Twist of Fate level up, provided that he doesn't have interaction. Warning shot into Plunder Guy. Where is he? Oh, no. Okay. You do that. You do that. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. You got greedy, sir. Sucks that this is now three mana, but it is what it is. So he's like, damn, I should have just got my attack Dizzle in. He literally, for one additional damage, which he technically would have still gotten it. He could have attacked with Teemo. Technically, the line of play is this attack with Teemo anyway. And then you do this afterwards. Timo, Timo gets his shrooms in, all that good stuff. And if he has another Timo in hand, then he actually dodges the death from that. But uh, it is what it is. What else you got? Monkey. That makes no difference. But that is going to be a lot of uh, damage coming our way, though. But we will be able to ruin this path because I'm pretty sure that next turn he's going to just slam this in there. I'll block with our researcher. Wait, it's his turn? What? <laughs> Why did I think it was my turn? Uh, to attack, I mean. I'll just let that slide because I don't have anything. I'll block the next one. Well, see now here, same thing. I should just open attack here. Looks like trouble. Uh, no reason to attack with this. He's just going to block it with this. But then it counts as a slay for me. Unless he's watching the YouTube video before it's even published. Are you doing that, Smoke Man? Are you a god? Two cards? Uh, warning shot into that big other thing that's cheaper because you warning shot. Double make it rain. Ah, uh, sorry, man. That's just too good. <laughs> and then we still get the to do our ruinous path. I zapped the mana crystal. I could have just killed this, but I'd rather keep it up because he does look like he's trying to. Uh... Is this? Do you draw a champion? Yeah, you do draw a champion. Okay. Right of passage right now is a additional draw for us. Yeah, because we did use a Preservarium, I think, before. So, we have some good draw right now. I'm saying, I think Twisted Fate levels here. I'm pretty sure he levels. He just blew two Make It Rains on that play against Shurima with more than four mana up. You got to feel bad about that. We could still even save, uh, what's call it too, with the Ancient Hourglass. This is what this deck is supposed to do. This deck is basically supposed to get a really good unit out. Or, or some stupid thing out with the Great Mother, and then you just protect I'm it. Always up for a round or two. Going for the red card. I don't care. I'm a people person. Could have preserved his health, but he could also have other things too. Um, we're going to go here with the Rite of Passage. That gives us that. I have to keep the mana up. For potential, make it rain again. Uh, he also could just have another strike spell. I, I'm pretty sure that he's going to probably force me to Hourglass here. I do have a possibility of killing his Twisted Fate, but killing it doesn't really do anything. I'd rather just take the five damage here. My Twisted Fate has an insane chance of leveling here. There's really no reason to uh, push it outside of anything. I want to want them to see these draws. Okay. Okay. 
I feel like I'm safe now. A game. Go on, then. I feel like I'm safe. I think I'm safe. We got six, seven, two additional cards. Oh, I should have played Riot Calling. Okay. We got Big Papa. If I played Right of Calling, I would have been fine. I could have played Right of Calling on this, and then uh, any additional draw after that would have been fine. Welcome. So, doing absolutely nothing, I level up TF. I don't have to attack. I don't have to do anything. He's. I, I feel like he might have another spell to kill, uh, but we should be fine. I could also level him up right now. I could write up calling uh, this the pool shark and then uh, drop this down and that would level. And I should have probably not have played that because that's like this. The other thing what I'm talking about now is way uh, low committal. Uh, is that his third make it rain? It is. And he gets the proc that he needs. Hoping that he doesn't have another follow up to that. Is this mine? No. He does not. Okay. That he may save. He does miss these these draws. Oh, double TF would be hilarious. Uh, we attack. He shuffles his stats, so I'm really not uh, afraid or anything like that. What does he have? The harpoon. Why didn't you harpoon my guy? He, I guess he's more afraid of that, but. That's a weird play. I do have another TF in hand, but that that's a, definitely a weird play. Oh, why? Oh, because it was on the left side. Wow, that's cheating. And that's just kind of luck, because you can't re reorganize where your uh, your things land. <laughs> that's that's actually insane. All right, now we're we're in the driver's seat now. We have a we have a handful of hand right now. We have everything that we've ever needed. We have our birth certificate. We have our social security card. We have literally anything that you need. And he's going with the thing to make uh, vulnerable. That's fine. We just have too many answers to protect TF, regardless of what he's doing. Uh, I just need to make. I need units though. That is what I need. I think we do this first. I uh, actually, if he kills TF, I could play another. I could like use this TF's nonsense. Gotta trust your instincts. Beautiful. I can actually use this TF, let it die, and then the next TF will do his uh, his little cycle. That's gonna allow me to draw. So now I get this. That's gonna sweep them out. And we got, I kinda don't want any of those really. That's gonna do the red card, sweep that out. We lose some HP because of these. But now uh, our, what's the call is activated. Oh, there it is, ruinous path, there he goes. Here is actually, like I said, I can let him die, but I, it's just, the Scrying Sands is too good. It kills too many things. I'm gonna go here with that. Dead in their tracks. And we're gonna heal up here. Uh, there we go. Ah, uh, he has two cards in hand. Is this this is pretty much GG for the boy? Pretty much GG for the man. Uh, I think we still open attack here. We have no other things to really do here, uh, unless we're careful preparation and hope that we hit a, another time bomb. That's the best that I could do. He should pretty much surrender at this point. There's no way he can win. Unless he can somehow manifest karma. 
don't really need him to be alive. I don't need two Twisted Fates either. Blue card. That's fine. Blue as the serpent. This card is the bane of my existence, I swear. What did I say about this? No way he can win? Now, where was I? What if he just keeps spamming that? And that's that's his that's his gig. To just count so keep spamming that. Oh my god it is. Oh my god. I'm actually kinda scared now. Oh, we killed something this round. No, we didn't. Oh my god. So Zillion pretty much dies, right? Um, we can make it minus eight with two of those. We do. Oh no, no, we get a free blocker. Okay, we get a free blocker. I have a free blocker. All right, now that the time bomb is dead, I can burst burst uh, past it really quickly. Unless he has another sermon plus a warning shot, and I'm just gonna freaking I'm gonna blow up. I'm gonna explode all over the place. He's gonna see a, a okay, Timo. Shitmo. Sorry, Shitmo. You thought you had something. A bright future, just as I have always known it would be. Eh, eh, eh. I think technically I should have played this though first. There we go. We can play Xenotype Researcher. If you play the third one, bro. Oh no. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, what's the best course of action here? What's the best course of action here? Oh no. There's no way I lose this game. I think I have to careful preparation and pray that I actually get um Okay, I don't know what music I'm about to put on, but I need to put on that music, if you know what I'm saying. All right, so our option here, I think actually what I should have did is I should have careful prep first, because then I already, I already messed up. So we're already in a bad way. Um, wait, don't I lose anyway? This is five, they all do one damage. I, oh, I guess there's no point of the music, huh? There is no point to thine music. It hurts so bad. Oh dear. <laughs> Those games were fun, but like I said, I think that that deck it, it relies on a little bit too much uh, randomness. I think it needs a little bit more consistency to it. Uh, Especially with just having like some more solid units, especially with Sharima, you got a lot of good options there. Uh, this deck, however, is Zoe Gwen. That was oh no, I was Zoe Gwen, and I was told to use the dark, the dark and lodestone. I actually haven't tested this deck whatsoever uh, because he just kind of that's all he told me. So I'm just I all these other cards are just stuff that I think might work good in the deck. So the way I want to do it in the future, I, there, there's a reason why I'm doing three games. I kind of want to do oh god. Uh, might not be the worst thing in the world, though. If I can possibly get a, a good early start, like a good character to come in, have some good stuff. But I want to do, like, one match per deck, basically. If I can do one match per deck, that would be fantastic. And then, at that point, I would be able to, you know, have some more fun. Play some more random decks, random ideas, concepts. Uh, I do like the first deck, I, like I said, just a little bit, a little random. Okay, nice. We get this lovely card here. Does he have a follow-up? We each hold a world within. Okay. I'm gonna do this 
Because I know he's not going to block with his uh, Eye of the Dragon. Uh, there's not many things I think he could do to stop this play anyway. Next turn, we will Salter. Or I, I might Undying. I can also sacrifice this because it's a crappy uh, husk, and then I can actually just use the Dark and Halberd. And then we could uh, start pushing some crazy damage here. I can also give the Dark and Lodestone to the to the husk, and so it gives out a little bit better stats. I think it's just uh, what is it like mana negatives to do that? But I definitely want to get the husk online. This this uh for this deck here can't really do much to that to a really fat undying. And I'll have the ability to always sacrifice it every single time if I want to. There we go. Definitely, that's a good draw. So, that pisses me off. Alright, uh... He's going for his his wing con. I have to go for mine. Do we got a good one or a bad one? not necessarily good we'll see what we draw next turn right if we draw something good next turn if not then I'm just gonna sacrifice it because the undying is gonna eat it up anyway and and we get something really good <laughs> if only you could see me. nice Gwen is in the building unfortunately no um, other thing has to come down I was thinking that I actually thought about that for a second too Oh well. Maybe I should have attacked with this, but this is gonna be concerning for him. Yeah, there we go. He can't like he can't let that rock all day. He doesn't have flow activated. I don't know if he actually has like flow deck though. Maybe I snap played Gwen a little bit too quick. I, I got a little trigger happy. Okay. Oh, we're the army's coming. Ooh. Nope. It's too good of an opportunity here. Oh, baby. He still has nothing. All right, Undying comes back. This is great because it kills Ezreal on the spot. Uh, let's go with another Undying. We're at six mana, so we're getting close to... This guy is 10 mana, right? It's done, okay. I just wanna apply as much insane pressure as I can. Cause he has karma. 100% he has karma. I actually think he should play karma. Uh, I don't know if he's afraid of something that I have, but I think he has karma and he's holding on to karma a little bit too hard right now. Uh, let's see. I think giving the haloed or hallowed bus to... Hold on, this has the thing, right? Getting warmer. Just to want to make this as awkward as possible. He could even block these two if he wanted to. Uh, okay, he doesn't have to. There we go. Flow is now activated, so he'll be finally getting some uh, Dragonlings to help him out. But even though his turn 10 is going to be crazy, so is mine. Nice, we have another one now. Can't kill this, but I know Ez exists. And Ez, even if he's level, still dies to this. He's gonna need a deny for this uh, this card, so. And he's gonna get it. 
We're really running low. I didn't think I put any draw in this. The spirit gives to those who listen. And as you can see, the trick is uh, you can actually heal them up. Will of Ionia? Okay. I don't get the point of that. Ain't no shadows in here, friend. I, I do get the point of uh, it does suck that these things will always be uh, blocked, though. That does suck. But I will keep holding on to the things. Let's see. The amount of slaves I'd have is kind of nuts. I'm just making this big so when I drop down the Psalter, it, it gets a lot. I could also just leave this husk up there, or try to leave it up there for like two turns. I guess he's not gonna let me do that. Rocket barrage. Someone doesn't like to have fun. Plenty of fire to go around. Spell shield. Okay. I say he's probably not gonna let that rock. Kills my other salter. Can't play that one, but I can play the other one. I did make a mistake there. I just realized that I could have uh, actually summoned the Lodestone one. So that's kind of a mistake. Uh, we do drop down Gwen here. Turn 9. Tough day, friend. Because next turn... Okay. So, I feel like it's weird what he just did. He could drop Karma now, or he can drop as He can't drop both. Uh, so, do I drop this right now? I think I do. I could have had... Oh, actually, that's a waste. That is a waste. That is a waste. Because, um... Ionia speaks through me. That is a waste. Because of what's going to call it. Like, it's already had Spell Shield. Gwen getting that would have been make more sense. But the th cool thing about this, though, is that she, she does give spell shield to whatever I summon. Well, not whatever I summon, but hopefully she doesn't go crazy here. Oh, I, why didn't I switch around my things? So we get Zoe. Ugh, that is terrible timing. Zoe, you need Zoe much earlier. Uh, do we just go for it? The problem if I go for it is that he could instantaneously just bounce it. Uh, I feel like it's still necessary, though. I also don't care. <laughs> if he bounces it back to my hand, then he bounces it back to my hand. Uh, I just I could just play it again. He still loses a lot of mana for that play, though. And he also doesn't have Ez on the field for it. Six, eight, ten. Wow. We face the cosmos. Make her beefier. No, it doesn't matter. He still has these two chump blockers, right? And uh, this is pretty much always activated. Uh, but it does uh, make this stronger. I guess that means something. In a world where I have atrocity, which I don't, that would be a good thing. Does he still not have Ezreal, though? I'm saving this for Ezzy boy. 
I, I, I'm saving this for Ezzy boy. All right, we can uh, slow play this a little bit. To... Cannot hide. So he's just going for the good damage, huh? I don't see any point of not. If he can remove it, he can remove it. I feel like that's a waste though. I think we throw out the Chloe bait. I mean, Chloe, the Zoe bait. Uh, force him to do something to her. There we go. We're exposed. So two blockers he has always every turn pretty much. What's his hand like? He has 18 cards left in his deck. I have 25. He's been he's been drawn. The thing I'm thinking about here is that we uh Okay. It's funny that the only good darken is the one from like Sharima cuz that one keeps coming back even when you kill it like this. All right. Uh, she's so easy to kill. It's kind of nuts, but I need the ability to potentially uh, open attack. There's so much to see. Where do I she start? spent a lot of spells there. I'm hoping that she doesn't have any more. Okay, she's digging. You have to be on drugs. All right. Alright. Well, I've been holding on to this car for eight years, so I guess maybe I should have just took one of these guys out by now. It would theoretically stop both of them from coming out, but I feel as soon as I do that, Ez just comes down. As soon as I do that, I feel like Ez just comes down from the from the Himalayan mountains and uh, just blesses us with his presence. But maybe that just doesn't matter. There he is. Most likely burst lethal here. Not even old school where I could. Don't worry, guys. We killed Ezreal. <laughs> Oh, I'm not doing I'm not making these decks ever again. You guys betrayed me. 